What's going on guys? I'm out here today and today we are going to be doing something we already know what we're doing based on the title. But anyway, uh, I'm going to tell you anyway. What we're going to be doing is Jeez, man, I got to put stuff right in the way, don't I? Anyway, what we're going to be doing is actually taking some of that chicken right there's feathers. Probably that rooster. He's the big one who tries to eat me every time I walk in there. We're going to be taking some of his tail feathers. Don't worry guys, it don't hurt. It's like us getting a haircut. And we're going to be using his feathers and I don't know if it's going to walk out or not, but there's a little tiny white chick and it's just now getting its new feathers in. So we'll go ahead and see if we can find some of its old feathers to use. But anyway, what we're going to be doing is taking that and we're going to be making a little fishing fly. And if you don't know what a fly is, it's basically what you use for fly fishing and it's weightless. All it is is a hook with, um, with something tied to it to make it like mimic other animals or creatures or whatever. And the one I'm going to try to make is going to be based off of a, uh, like a little tiny crappie minnow. I don't know if you guys know what those are, but they're basically just creek chubs or creek chub fry. And there's a lot of them in the creek right now, so I'm gonna try to make a fly that mimics one of those and see if we can catch something. And here we go. We gotta go first, catch some chickens. That should be pretty fun. Put this headset on, mess my hair up. Jeez, man, I guess. Yeah, completely messed my hair up, but oh well. At least I got this on. Go ahead and get you guys in the mountain. We'll go wrangle some chickens. There she is. No, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, oh, come here, boy. I got it. It's okay, it's okay, chicken. It's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm your buddy, remember? You know, the first human that ever held you? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and take maybe a tail feather or two. Yeah, we need a tail feather or a wing feather. The soft down feathers will not work. If you try this at home, guys, and you do take some, like, live feathers, you want to do it less than two-thirds up the chicken's feather so that it don't bleed. Because if it bleeds, other chickens might pick at it. And you don't want that. That could hurt, like, a lot. There we go. Got him. And all you're looking for is just, like, these nice-looking bluish, black, green-looking tail feathers. All right, that was me gathering the feathers. Now let's go ahead and go ahead and start building this fly. Anyway guys, I just got finished tying the fly and this is actually modeled after a uh, like a little tiny fry minnow. But anyway, now that I've got this tied, we're going to go over to the creek and we're going to start fishing. We're out here, it's uh, you know, a few days after uh, I actually made this thing and uh, yeah, we're going to use it today. We're down here at the creek. It actually got done raining last night really hard. So I mean, we might catch something, we might not. Who knows? We're going to try though. Uh, anyway, this is the one that we made. And I'm gonna be fishing with it, you know, just see it. It's it's just looking fly. What a joker. <laughs> I'm gonna try this and I actually didn't bring anything else, so well if that fails, then I'm going home. Yeah, that's about it. Let's go ahead and get you guys in the mountain and get to fishing. Yeah, water looking nice and it's not chocolate milk. It's like a I don't know. It's like some kind of murky color. I don't know. We're gonna try it anyway though. Black is actually what you what's good for uh throwing whenever it's like this so it might just work perfectly well dang it I already caught in the bushes guys all right here we go and I don't know if you guys can see it but like up here past this little clump of dirt over here on the side that's shallow and then there's a big deep spot here and I'm standing in shallow water so this should be a pretty good little pocket for whatever we might want to catch There's one. No, oh, no. Okay. I guess it was too small to even think about taking that. Oh, dang it. That was a big bite. I think I got that on camera. Being in my rod moving, but I got a pretty big bite there. There's one. Mm. Come here, boy. Oh, what is this? Come here. 
Oh, that's a nice creek chub. Dang, that's a fatty. Look at that thing. Oh, and I barely hooked him too. Oh, oh okay. See you later, bud. Gonna smack me like that. Well, anyway, he's gone, so. Let's go ahead and try and catch us another. Maybe his friend or maybe, I'm trying to go for like a green sunfish. Maybe, you know, a great white or something like that. But I don't know if we're gonna catch that here or not. I mean, I guess it's possible. It's pretty deep water. Found a lot of weird stuff in this creek. Well, guys, I just lost my fly. So, um, yeah, that's, you know, that's it. Okay, we're done. All right, well, guys, I'm not sure exactly if you saw it or not, but I kind of lost my fly in a bush. So, yeah, that means uh, no more fishing today. But at least we caught one. I proved to you that I could tie a fly and, uh, with, you know, my own chicken's feathers and then make it into a fishing lure and catch stuff with it. And I did it, so, yeah, mission accomplished. And uh, on the other hand, I did find a giant turkey feather. I think it's a turkey feather. And that's going to be for my next fly. Roll the outro. I'll see you guys later if I don't die from throwing fishing poles at myself. Well, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed And if you did, go ahead and let me know by dropping a like. If you want to see more, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Go down. Leave me a comment if you'd like to. You can click over on the left for more videos. Click down on the bottom right to subscribe. And also go follow me on social media for updates, polls, and more. Well, anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. The view is greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys next time.